Hello and welcome to another Stack Team App Help video. This video will show you how to use one of our products, the Portal. The Portal is an exciting platform that was specifically developed to streamline communication with governing bodies, associations, leagues, schools, and much more. Previously, if one of these examples was using Stack Team App overseeing multiple apps, when they went to send the same communication to all the apps, it would need to be done one at a time. The portal platform makes this process easy and saves time, allowing admins of the portal to create as many apps as they like and can communicate directly to every single member of each app from one central location. The portal also provides you with the opportunity to own the advertising space across all the linked apps and generate added commercial opportunities for your organizations. If this is your first time hearing about the portal and want to see a demo, please reach out to us via our support website at support.tmap.com. Once you've watched this video, it'd be great if you could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the alerts button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Once our team has set you off with your portal, you can access it by logging in to your account at stackteamapp.com, then in My Teams, under Associations, you'll see it listed. Click on the logo to access your portal. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using one of our demo portals to show you the benefits and how to use the portal features. Once in your portal, you will see the logo, the aligned apps, and the features of the portal at the top that can be used to send content to each of the aligned apps. First, we'll give you a brief rundown of the portal dashboard. Here you will see the features at the top. Each of the features are the same as using them inside your app. To the far right, you will see the Manage Ad Banners tab. Here you can create ads and see the analytics of how they're performing. At the top, you'll see a cogwheel. This is the settings section of the portal where you can see the admin settings, alignments, design and appearance, and the portal details. Then if you click on the graph icon to the right, this is the stats tab, allowing you to see the screen views, clubs and apps aligned, and the total amount of members across the aligned apps. Next we'll discuss and show you how to use the features of the portal. The alignments tab shows you the aligned apps and any other associations that you are linked to. The green icons next to each app means that each of them is accepting content from the features. The gray icon shows you how many users each app has. The white shield with the tick will show if you are linked to any associations or your governing body. The pen icon allows you to bulk delete aligned apps. To create a new aligned app, click the blue plus icon and follow the simple steps. The news feature allows you to see a list of news articles currently visible to the members of your aligned clubs and create a new item to send to members. When you send a new news article, a push notification goes to all the users of your aligned apps, whilst non-app members or those with notifications turned off will receive an email. To create a news article, click on the three dots and press new. Type in the title and description. If you would like to upload a photo or video or PDF, have a location, then under visibility, you can choose if you want it visible to the general public, all members or all aligned apps. Then once done, choose the type of notifications, then press Create to send. You will also see the ability to edit or view archived news articles by clicking on the three dots. For more information on the news feature, click on the eye icon at the top. The events feature shows a list of your active or past events and the ability to create new events. To create a new event, click on the New button, then type in the title, details, location, start and end time, or all day. Then you can set a reminder, upload a photo or video or PDF, and choose if you would like to enable comments, set a duty roster, have ticketing, or feature this event to make the image more prominent. Then choose the visibility, and when and what type the notification you would like to send, once done, click Save. You can also click the icon to the right for more options to import, export, or archive events. For more information on the events feature, click the eye icon at the top. The newsletter feature allows you to publish content such as a newsletter, a flyer, or any PDF, or alternatively, link to a website. You can also choose which aligned clubs have visibility for each newsletter posted. To send a newsletter, click on the blue plus icon at the top, type in the title, and choose the attachment type, either a PDF or a website. Choose the visibility, and then what notification you would like to send. Once done, click Create. For more information on the newsletter feature, click on the eye icon at the top. The documents feature is similar to newsletters, 
and allows you to publish any PDF documents or link to a website. You can choose which aligned clubs of visibility for each document posted. To send a document, click on the blue plus icon at the top, type in the title and choose the attachment type, either a PDF or a website. Choose the visibility and then what notification you would like to send. Once done, click create. The store feature once set up allows you to create new items for sale and see a list of all the items you've set up for sale to the members of the aligned clubs. To commence the store setup, you'll notice a button called Payment and Store. Click that and then go into Payment Settings. This will provide you with some basic detail on Stripe and you'll see a Connect Stripe Account button at the bottom. Click here. Stripe is one of the largest and most trusted online payment providers and their setup process will only take a few minutes. Enter all of your details in the required fields and don't forget to select Authorise Access to this account. Now we need to finalise your payment settings. Go into the store feature, then click the three dots and select payment and store settings. Once selected, hit payment settings. Here we can establish who you want to be notified via email when the payments are made, the type of currency you'll transact in, and agree to our terms and conditions. It's important to know the fees associated with payments occurring through Stack Team app. We partner with Stripe, and the fees will differ based on where you're located. Now we are ready to create items in the store feature. In the payment and store section, Click on Create and Edit Store Items, and then hit the blue plus button to create a new item. Today we're going to create a registration fee. Place the name in the title, insert a description, put in the total amount, make sure Available for Sale has been selected, tick if you would like it available to the public, insert an image, and if you have shipping available. Make sure that you add to that below. Once completed, hit Create. For more information on the store feature, click the eye icon at the top. The Surveys feature allows you to create and send surveys to the members of your Align Clubs with easy options for multiple choice or free form replies. To create your first survey, click on the plus symbol. Then give your survey a title and enter a description of the survey. This is optional. Then choose a start and end time for the survey. Then choose the level of access. You can make the survey open to the public, approve members or aligned apps. Then you can set up your questions. Click the green plus symbol to create your first question. Type in the questions, select if you want the answer to be mandatory, leave the choices below empty and turn off other option if you want a free form answer. If you want choices, click the green plus symbol and type in the answer. Then if you want more choices, click the other green choice buttons and repeat the steps. You can also tick the box below if you want to have the word other as an optional response. Once done, if you would like to send a notification or not, select Below, then press Save. To manage and create new ad banners, click on the Manage Ad Banners tab. You are now on a screen that allows you to create new ads whilst also being able to manage and track the stats for specific ads or across them all. To create a new ad, click the button in the top right corner. You'll then be presented with two options, create an ad using our standard template or upload your own ad. We'll start with using our standard template. Provide your ad with a name, you can insert a title and body up to 32 characters for each. Use our stock images or upload an image and place a web URL so that when the ad is selected, it will take the user to that page. Don't forget to hit create when finished. Or if you or know someone with graphic design skills, then you can choose to upload your own ad. You will need three images in different dimensions. These are the three different types of slots across both the website and the app interface. Insert your campaign name, Put a website URL and upload the image over three different dimensions. Please don't upload images of different sizing than what's listed on the screen. It's not a positive viewing experience for you or the member. If you can't manipulate the images to fit, then we suggest you use our standard template. Once created, adverts will display across the aligned apps and website in 30 second intervals, or when a new section of the app has been selected. If you'd like to view the stats on a specific ad, Click on the View Stats button. Here you can view stats on the past day, week, month or year. See the number of views, clicks or click rate. Export the data into a CSV file should you need to share it with others. If you want to see the stats of all your adverts at once, then select the View All button on the left of the page. Thank you for watching another Stack Team App help video. As always, if you have any further questions about using Stack Team App, check out our other help videos on YouTube or click on the Support tab on our website and our team will be able to assist you further.